Ah, the holiday feeling that starts in the air. Then you emerge from the clouds to a place where your time is your own, where you have the freedom to be happy-go-lucky or pamper yourself in the lap of luxury, where you can dive into adventure, nourish your body and feed your soul. A place where you can plan every step or take it as it comes. This is your Samoan holiday and it's always going to be beautiful. Beautiful Samoa. PNG with the ball and a one point advantage in this first quarter. It's been played at a frenetic pace as Tulapi gets it in. Six goals to four at this stage. Minister Charles Abel. Yeah, Minister of Finance for PNG, Charles Abel. Also here to watch his daughter Courtney playing for the PNG Pepes. I'm sure he's probably enjoying watching the netball more than tussling with the PNG economy, that's for sure. Hanna Barreto, long one for Abel once again. Here's um, Lahari to Boyo Pita. PNG very keen to move the ball fast in and around the circle. certainly improved that area of their game they were having lots of trouble in earlier matches so they were and push it out to a four point lead here yep, double the Samoan score at the moment and I think they do have uh, big plans for the future of that ball in uh, Papua New Guinea going forward Yes, that's right, um, Richard. They will also host the 2020 um, Regional World Youth Qualifiers in Port Moresby. It's uh, almost a stalemate, really, isn't it? So Samoa can't uh, rein Papua New Guinea in, but Papua New Guinea not getting too much further ahead, but still a nine-goal margin is, shall we say, comfortable for them at this stage. A missed opportunity there for Samoa again. A ball straight to Lahari it goes, and there's Neri Adula. Ropati almost getting that intercept there for Samoa. And she needed to get that intercept because it's uh, across the side another goal. So seconds remaining in this match, Samoa with AJ Sovelio. She slots it in. It's 64-35. Adula quickly from the center pass. Goes out. Lightning pace there from uh, PNG with their center pass. Just going out. That's it, game over. So that's it. PNG have won the bronze medal here at the 2019 Pacific Games. Four years ago, it was a silver medal for them. But uh, tonight, PNG will take home the uh, bronze medal, having defeated Samoa 64 points uh, to 35. And um, credit to Samoa, they've fought hard in this um, competition, but it just come up short tonight. Nine and a half to go. Every ball will count in this last quarter. 
Alana Smith slots it over as Cook Islands take the lead again. Boy, you can sense the tension in the air. It's just 39-38, a goal separating these two teams. Cook Islands with the ball. Nicholas, there for Carter to Erie, trying to get herself in a better position. In that circle, goes high for Alana Smith on the inside for Te Iri. It's very close to the line. Te Iri will take the shot. She nails it. Tonga, they trail by two. Aquafalau, there for Payne. Aquafalau, Hansen trying to get into space there. She does well for Tonga. Goes back out wide and pushed out by Carr. Tonga really need to score from this attack. The drums keep beating louder. Hansen goes for the shot. She'll get a second attempt here. So Pallavi, she puts it over for Tonga. It's 40-39. Payne goes back to Senigunga. They try and regroup Tonga. Hansen with the ball. A chance to square things up here, Tonga. Hansen is there. And once again, she'll take the shot oh, and squares very nice. things up. Very nice work by Hansen. Te'iri has the ball. Car in support. Back to Te'iri. Out wide it goes to Iro. Te'iri comes back around the corner. This for the lead. Te'iri puts it over. It's 41-40, less than five minutes to go in this quarter. Here's Hansen, Aquafalau, goes back to the captain, Payne. Aquafalau, almost an intercept there from short. Hansen, well placed in that circle. She takes the shot and levels it. Tonga with the ball. Pressure beginning to tell on both sides. Uh, little mistakes just creeping in. Bunga. Luciana Nicholas working hard in defense there with Hansen from Tonga. Tonga still at the right end of the court though as far as they're concerned. A chance here for Tonga, they're level at 41. Oh, Palavi gets a clean ball. She puts it over for Tonga. It's 42-41. Less than four minutes to go, and it's a center pass here for Tonga. Yeah. Intercept there from Nicholas, the captain. Cook Islands, Iro. Tonga wasted their opportunity there. They just rushed it. Nicholas to Te'iri, it goes wide, it goes to Carr. There's Iro once again. The last three minutes. And uh, still, we don't know which way the gold medal is going to go. So, Te'iri with an opportunity to level things up here. Misses that one. How crucial will that be? We've got um, about two and a half minutes to go. Tonga. Is, um, oh, she got it just. Aquafalau to the captain Payne. This is Hansen. Stolen, but uh, illegally. It's 42-41. Tonga with the one goal lead here. They have the ball. About two minutes, 13 to go. The race is there for the ball. Cook Islands. Nicholas. Straight uh, to Iro it goes. There's a short car. Teiri goes back to short. Bit of a 50-50. Time ticking over here. Less than two minutes to go. 
It's 42-41. Here's Carr. Straight to um, Te'iri, it goes through the legs. Almost lost control of it, Te'iri. She'll go for the shot. Straight to um, Alana Smith. Takes her time to take this shot. She puts it over. It's 42. All. We've got one minute 17 to go in this final match. It's Cook Island center pass. Te'iri, they know how important this is for them. Te'iri. Car in that circle, it's gone to Alana Smith. Te'iri will take this shot, one minute to go. This for the lead, she nails it to Erie. 43, 42 seconds remaining. Tong, I want to take it quickly. They need to be precise here. Akwap Falao, this is Payne. Hansen, time ticking down here. Long one for Pallavi. Pallavi. She nails it, Pallavi. Oh it's boy. 43 all. 43 apiece. It's Tonga, oh, it's Cook Island center pass. Seconds remaining in this match. It's 43 all. This is Te'iri. Back to Ira for Alana Smith. And this for the gold medal, possibly. She nails it, Alana Smith. There's still time. Hansen, a long one for Palavi. I think the whistle's gone, has it? The whistle has the gone. The whistle has gone. And oh. heartbreak here for Tonga. Heartbreak for the kingdom of Tonga. So much noise. They didn't hear the whistle go. And Palavi thought for one moment she'd forced the game into overtime. But, uh, Cook Islands have stolen it by a point, by one goal. What a battle it has been. Tonga led for the most part. In fact, in the three quarters played, Tonga were in the lead. But Cook Islands, they were just calm and collected, and they just found that extra edge. Samoare. Mendes. To Millie. So Whippy inside, taken away by Lewis. Out to Adonaya, down baseline, not going inside. Stripped, loose ball, Manning recovers. Oh, Maine able to put it in. So two point lead now for Cook Island over Fiji. Inside goes Millie. Reverse lefty able to put it in. Adonai Lewis called for a travel. Left side goes up, doesn't go. Rebounded by Tedai Sadler. Out to Janet Main, down to Sadler against Millie, able to go up, and she scores again. So Sadler has scored two of uh, Cook Islands, five points. The other way come Fiji. Vilisi Tavui up top. Mendes will take it herself against Adonia. Oh, she scored over on Nile Lewis. A chance to take the lead here, Fiji. Mendes sinks the free throw. That's Fiji's first lead of the game. It's out to Whippy. Another baby jumper. Whippy sinks it. So Fiji starting to break away. Five points. Kezia, the two, doesn't go. Whippy's got it. They go out to Millie. Whippy coming across inside. And is blocked by Adonai Lewis. Under three to go. Millie inside. Out to... Vilisi, oh, good teamwork, good pass. As Adonai answers with the two quickly. They go inside again to female Shaq. Oh, she's caught for a charge. Unable to break free. Not to main, long two. Short, gets the rebound, scoop up, goes in. Eight point lead, a minute 30 to go. Mendez. Good, solid screen. Oh, pick and roll to Vilisi Tavui. VG too good at this point. Millie's got it. Down to two seconds. Now's the time to chuck one up. Oh, and she puts in the two. 
So Fiji, gold medalist in the three on three and silver medalist in the five on five competition for Cook Island. Valiant effort battling through all the pool games, through the playoffs, come short of gold, but you return with silver home, so that's a, quite the achievement. It's VG taking on Guam and automatically Fiji. Take away possession. Out to Filimone. He's a good shooter. Misses there. And you can see there Marcus Whippy, the experienced veteran for Fiji, leading his three on three squad. They had to settle for bronze in the men's five on five. But Fiji here to try and go all the way. Rebound. Guam back outside now. A two. It doesn't go. Joshua Motufanga the rebound. Motufanga inside, able to finish and get the foul. And that was on Ben Boja. Boja finishes with the reverse tie game. Guam able to come back in for it. Oh, Joshua Motufanga sinks it too. So back up by two again, Fiji. Zakazaki puts in a two of his own. Whippy's got it, Filimone the two. Filimone sinks it, and Whippy's liking it because uh, Whippy looks a bit tired. Two from Borja, wide left, and Filimone's got it. They go to Whippy, they bring it out. Henry Tapaduka inside, and he was fouled on the arm. He'll shoot a free throw. Henry, the free throw misses. Motufanga tries to get the rebound, loses it. He gets it back, he'll go up, able to finish. PG up by three points now, 12 to nine. We go out to Marcus. Oh, Marcus tried to give it to Motufanga. He wasn't ready for it. Carlos, two-pointer. Sinks the two, cuts the lead down to two. Seve to Sakazaki against Henry. Sakazaki misses. Whippy unable to catch the rebound. Borja throws up the two. He sinks the two. It's a two-point lead for Fiji. Guam. With possession, 37 seconds remaining. Michael out to Seve, now to Ben Borja, taking it baseline out to Sakazaki, shows the two, doesn't take it against Filimone. Inside to Seve, he's unable to catch it. A shot clock violation, Guam unable to get a shot off. And now it's only 12 seconds remaining. Guam have to take a two. Borja wide open. Oh, he sinks it, tie game. Three seconds remaining, Fiji will get possession. And what a shot. Big shot there from Ben Borja, the second. Henry Tapaduka in there for Fiji. He'll chuck up a two, it misses, and we're going overtime, and the rule is, whoever scores two points straight wins. And Fiji, they didn't win the toss earlier, so now they get the inbound. They go out to Filimone. Step back, Filimone to Whippy. Shows the two, he'll go up for two. Whippy misses, Motufanga nearly gets the rebound. Sakazaki's got it for Guam, Borja. Against Motufanga, Porsche wide open, the two. Oh, he puts it in! And Guam win in dramatic fashion. <laughs> what a game! A dramatic finish in this one. VG takes silver. But Ben Porsche, the big shot. Here's a chance for Papua New Guinea. And this time, they convert. Very well taken goal, and Papua New Guinea take the lead in the 28th minute. Papua New Guinea have finally found a way. Great skill demonstrated there, and a great cool shown by the number 11.
surrounded by three defenders. Bullock would have done well to get through there, but she's won a free kick. And the usual giveaway sign, the waving of the arms. I didn't do it. Almost invariably means that you did. So what happened here, actually? Well, I think that's a, a fairly hefty challenge. The ball was nowhere in sight, and that go the hands. You might as well write the word guilty on your head when you do that. And it was very close to the penalty area. Let's see. Yeah, couldn't be much closer, really, could it? So Papua New Guinea adopting a risky strategy to defend that Samoan attack. And here's a, an opportunity after 35 minutes for Samoa to put some pressure on the PNG keeper for the first time in the match. Uh, Fidelma Watpour, I don't believe, has touched the ball yet. There's danger here for PNG. And uh, Samoa have taken advantage. Torian Lynn Lewis makes it seven in this tournament for her. For half time, it's the perfect incentive for Samar if they can perhaps hold on to this scoreline until half time to come out and regroup and uh, really give it a go in second half. But Papua New Guinea threatening again here. That was an important interception that Samar on defence failed to make. Terrible mistake there in the heart of the Samoan defence and uh, this should really not have been an opportunity for Papua New Guinea at all. Break there and uh, nice control, it has to be said. And uh, Kaipo has her second of the game. Papua New Guinea again looking to launch the ball forward. Gabong again. Padillo maybe could finish this in style for Papua New Guinea, but she's gone too wide. But she's managed to find a way through anyway. Well, that didn't look likely, did it? Looked like she'd been uh, forced into trouble. But uh, that sealed it for Papua New Guinea. And Ramona Padillo makes it nine goals for her at this tournament. She just went way wide. Looked like the ball was going to drift out of play, but she just managed to find a chink of light there, didn't she? Pritchard is uh, escorted from the field. And Marie Kaipu is set to be the heroine for Papua New Guinea once again, just as she was in Port Moresby four years ago. On that occasion, they beat New Caledonia by a solitary goal. Kaipu had scored it. PNG were leading 2-1, and Kaipu having scored both of those goals. She was uh, substituted in the second half, to my surprise. So nevertheless, it was her goals that gave PNG the advantage to all right in the dying moments uh, when Padillo added to her collection here at the Pacific Games. Uh, she had eight coming into this game, now she has nine. The picture tells a story really, doesn't it? Samoare. So again, steady as she goes for New Zealand. Struggling really throughout to string more than a couple of passes together. Waited for an advantage when there clearly wasn't one. And even though the New Caledonian player is the one in strife, this is going to be a free kick for New Zealand. So New Zealand work their way around one side and then to the other a penetrating pass but uh, that fell well short and uh, Ben Badam has found Psycho such a big man difficult to knock off the ball as we saw there and his pass put his defender under pressure 18 Emil Berune the one player on a yellow card in this match so far two-footed challenge in the first half for uh, Tukai Clark if I remember rightly New Zealand's number 10 Referee did not like it. <laughs> now there's room here for Sele to manoeuvre, and uh, he's got the shot away. And I think Tracy knows that he has dropped an almighty clanger there. Sele it was who broke away down the left hand side. Got the shot away, and it's uh, basically gone straight through Tracy and then bounced in off the post. Psycho there, given offside. 
suddenly some urgency being shown by New Zealand it's finally dawned on the New Zealand team that they need a goal it was a useful run but uh, came to nothing in the end except uh, the referee has decided there was a foul words of the referee about what I don't know he's got the free kick and hopefully this uh, game doesn't uh, deteriorate into a state of confusion we've had a few matches where incidents have just got completely out of hand notably when the Solomon Islands keeper Mango was sent off against Dahiti it took around 10 minutes to sort all that out Solomon Islands had a substitute goalkeeper onto the field. And the referee just on that occasion seemed to have kind of lost the plot. Five minutes left. New Zealand still trailing by a goal to nil against New Caledonia. And they've found a way of doing it. That has come out of absolutely nothing. We're almost into added time. And there will be a fair chunk of it, I would say. Pressure here. Possibly a case for a shove there on Tiao, but it was the small fella on the big fella. Again, the referee intervening here. He's in yellow carding somebody on the New Caledonian bench. I wouldn't like to venture a question as to why. Presumably something that was said that the referee took exception to. 91 minutes gone. We're into overtime. So very much a case of next goal wins, you would think. Otherwise, it's a penalty shootout. And uh, New Caledonia are just showing signs of rocking ever so slightly, but now they can break away. Now, Zola, been very good for New Caledonia throughout this tournament. What can he do? Going right across the penalty area, looking for some support, looking for somebody out on the left, and there was nobody there. There's Tempo Dom, who's been busy since he came on. And I think Psycho's been punished there. And Caledonia not happy with that decision, but they need to stop complaining and just concentrate. They don't want to throw this game away. Lucky near Kenneth. Hardly had a thing to do other than pick the ball out of the net. Very much as was the case against Vanuatu, where New Zealand were lucky to get away with a goalless draw. And against Papua New Guinea, where uh, Papua New Guinea's inability really to have their shooting boots on the day allowed New Zealand, I think, to get out of jail there as well. So they've stumbled and bumbled their way through, but right now they are still in contention for the gold medal here at the Pacific Games, which will be a first for New Zealand. Time enough when the referee's finished adding to his yellow card collection for somebody to score a winning goal. Otherwise, it will be penalty kicks. So Tracy can breathe more easily now. It was his mistake that allowed uh, New Caledonia to take the lead. And uh, New Zealand have beaten the offside trap there. They need to get this one away, New Caledonia. And the ball is still hanging around. New Zealand have got an opportunity here. And a fabulous save from Rocky near Kenny. Good work by Tiao with the ball stuck in the mud. And then here, we see the shot come through. And in fact, it wasn't near Kenny, was it? It was his defender. And it's gone in. And that's extraordinary. Absolutely extraordinary. New Zealand have stolen it right at the death. New Zealand take the lead in the fourth minute of added time and I don't believe there is much more than a minute to go. And New Caledonia just wonder what on earth has happened to them. They had this match under control for the best part of uh, 86 minutes and then Schnell found a header from a free kick that put New Zealand on level terms and now they have a goal in the dying seconds, which will almost certainly mean that they will take the gold medal.
I don't know what their lucky charm is that they brought here to Apia, but it's worked wonders for New Zealand. And New Caledonia's run as gold medal winners in the Pacific Games is surely over. We'll have another look at that goal in just a moment as Le Cagou is the cry that goes up. Psycho penalised again then for what? I'm not entirely sure. He was merely shielding the ball. Referee with the flag up. So I can only assume he thought that the man was offside. We're now 95 minutes into this game. And New Zealand lead by two goals to one. And Connor Tracy. He was the villain earlier. It was his mistake that allowed New Caledonia to take the lead. Doesn't care about that anymore because New Zealand have pulled off the most unlikely of victories here. And New Caledonia's reign as Pacific Games football champions in the men's event is over. Oh, <laughs> 
And good evening from Afia Park, Samoa, to our viewers across the Pacific and audiences around the world. From the heart of Polynesia, this is the closing ceremony of the 16th Pacific Games. We're going to begin the evening with a parade of the athletes. Alphabetically here this evening, American Samoa coming by to uh, say farewell to this generous nation that has so beautifully looked after us these last two weeks here in the heart of the Pacific.
to Pacific Games become a great regional sporting event, but it is truly inscribed with much deeper cultural and political importance. I thank all of you for bringing Samoa and its people these moments, which for some may be only a chance in a lifetime experience. Samoa has been privileged to a fortnight filled with triumphs and disappointments. But for all of you who have worked so hard to be selected onto your country teams, to have made it this far to compete at this level is a significant accomplishment. Winning medals is the grounding glory, but in the end, it is the extra effort that separates a winner from second place and having a command of desire, determination, discipline, and self-sacrifice. Sports events such as the Pacific Games are meant to showcase the collective talent of our Pacific youth, rather than only recognizing winners. After all, a winner exists because someone dared to stand up and boost. So to all the medal winners, I offer our heartiest congratulations. And to those who fell short, I say congratulations as well. The 2019 Pacific Games have been the largest game so far in terms of the actual number of athletes, athletes and team officials who gathered here in Samoa for the 16th edition of the Games. These games have far exceeded all our expectations in terms of the number of athletes participating, the arrangements made for the games, the excellent venues provided, and the very high level of competitions in the various sports. Samoa, you have indeed raised the bar in taking the Pacific Games to another level. I was, I was in Savai last Tuesday for the opening of the boxing competition. In addressing the boxers and the patrons who were there, the Honorable Prime Minister referred to Savai as a paradise. I agree with the Prime Minister, Savai is indeed a paradise and a heaven on earth. <coughs> I have nothing against Upolu, but I suggest next time around we should play more sports in heaven. I echo the sentiments of the Prime Minister when he thanked the volunteers. I also would like to thank the many volunteers, close to 3,000 of you, both local and from overseas, who have contributed tremendously in making these games so successful. Many of you from overseas paid your own way and gave up your two weeks of holidays to be at the Samoa Games. We all are indebted to you. Without volunteers, it is almost impossible to organize a Games of this magnitude. So thank you, volunteers.
gentlemen, Mr. Martin Rara. On behalf of my government and all peoples of the Solomon Islands, we invite you all to challenge, celebrate, and unite with us the Solomon Way in July 2023 for the 17 Pacific Games. These are the moments to cherish games we live on forever. As we challenge, we celebrate, unite, build on the passion together. You got to show your island pride, raise your games flags high, let your spirit be free. It's time for you and me. So 2023. Yeah. Are you ready? Oh, are you? Reach for the stars. Oh, are yeah. you? Pacific Games, we will play. My grown down here, Roland, and uh, with Roland from uh, SIBC. So uh, we're going to have a song that is now playing. That's uh, the uh, update from the Solomon celebrating. And of course, making a uh, dance. That's from Temotu province, uh, that piece of uh, item that they demonstrated uh, there as well. And of course, the uh, theme of the uh, uh, 20, 23 Pacific Games is challenge, celebrate, and unite. Well, we certainly got that in the video, and we've got a very warm welcome as well from your Prime Minister, so it's marvellous. Looking forward to it, and a lot of enthusiasm here. It's going to be very boisterous, it's going to be a very colourful Pacific Games, and I'm sure it's going to be a whole lot of fun. In the name of the Pacific Games Council, I proclaim the 16th, 2019 Samoa Pacific Games closed. I call upon the sportsmen and sportswomen of the Pacific to assemble in four years in Honiara Solomon Islands to celebrate the 17th Pacific Games. May you display cheerfulness and harmony so that the spirit of our Pacific family of nations may be carried on with ever greater eagerness, courage, and honor for the good of humanity and the peace of the world. Thank you very much. Fafetai.
Liao Tiong Ye took his winning armament or Lapa Lapa and made his journey home to Fonga'a, where his father waited for his return. Today, ladies and gentlemen, Samoans everywhere speak of this ancient journey when we gather to offer our thanksgiving to God. Iamomoli la palapa o malo. Iamomoli la au ifunga'a. And tonight, we invite you, our Pacific family, to join in the spirit of thanksgiving like Leatio Nye of old to honor our families, our countries, and our God. We now extinguish the flame of the 16th Pacific Games 2019. And so the flame is out here in Apia. And just like that, it comes to an end. What a night it has been right here in our pier at Apia Park, where we bring to you the live coverage of the official closing ceremony for the 16th Pacific Games. And so for the final time from this wonderful venue, Apia Park, thank you, Samoa. Sweet dreams to you all. Safe travels to the sportsmen and women of the Pacific. And until we meet again in Honiara, Solomon Islands in 2023, for one last time, it's good night from Apia, Samoa, in the heart of Polynesia. the holiday feeling that starts in the air. Then you emerge from the clouds to a place where your time is your own, where you have the freedom to be happy-go-lucky or pamper yourself in the lap of luxury, where you can dive into adventure, nourish your body and feed your soul. A place where you can plan every step or take it as it comes. This is your Samoan holiday and it's always gonna be beautiful. Beautiful Samoa.